Hello YouTube, this is The Major giving a few tips on mixing vocals with backing instruments. Um, I'm going to show you how to use the compressor to underlay a counter melody with the main vocal. Working on this piece of music for my singer Cass Summers, it's for a single called Boyfriend. I'll show you a part of the chorus that I'm working on and I'll explain um, why I'm going to use the compressor on, on, a, on a backing instrument. I'll show you it without the backing instrument at the moment. I'll explain what I'm, what I'm trying to do. It'll be, it'll be more clear. <laughs> on the whole, I'm happy with that. But the gaps between the various lines of vocal just sort of leave a void that needs to be filled. I was working on this counter melody that sits neatly in the background. Show you if I undo the mute. I'm reason reasonably happy with that. I put it together in the mix and you get something like this. Now that's okay, but one of the problems is the counter melody and the, the main vocal are sparring for the same area of the audio spectrum. That, that sparring for your attention, that, that, that you're not really quite sure what to listen to. I don't want to change the counter melody because I'm, I'm happy with it, but I need to do something that sort of takes your attention away from it as the lead vocal kicks in. I'll just show you that in the lead, you, you'll see what I mean. One way you can do this is to use sidechain compression on the counter melody track. Now sidechain compression is used quite a lot in, in popular music at the moment. In my opinion it's overused a little bit to create ridiculous pumping effects as the, as the kick drum hits and all the other instruments get knocked down to infinity. <clears throat> I'm not using it for that purpose. I want to I want to use sidechain compression with Cassie's vocal so that the level of the counter melody just drops a little bit so that the two sit together in the mix and aren't fighting each other. Now the way to do that up here you have this sidechain input on the logic compressor. Now, as you can see, I'm using Logic 10 and I'm using the built-in uh, compressor. I'm sure that if you're using a different door and third-party compressors, it will still have uh, similar inputs and, and similar way of doing this sidechain side compression. If I select Cardi's main vocal, which is the Audio Channel 9, as sidechain, I can adjust how much Cathy's vocal triggers the compressor using the controls here. Now, if you're if you're not familiar with compressors, I would suggest you go and look at another YouTube video that explains about what they do. In a nutshell, the one sentence is they compress the audio so there's not as massive a difference between the lowest volume and the highest volume. Now, the reason you want to do that is is to make the audio more mixable. What I'm trying to do here is to create a gentle compression on the hyper lead triggered by Cathy's vocals. I've found that the best mix for this is a 1.4 compression ratio. Now Cathy's vocals aren't massively loud on the track so I need to take the threshold quite low to minus 36 to capture them. Any higher on the compression and it starts to pump and I really don't like that. I adjusted the makeup so that the overall volume of the of the hyperlead is the same depending on whether you turn the compression on or off. 
just as, as a reminder this is it without the compression And with the compression. <laughs> Boyfriend, you better tell your girlfriend she needs another boyfriend. I'm gonna make you see. Now it's subtle, it's not massive. I could adjust these thresholds and ratios to make the, the hyper lead more or less disappear when she sings and bounce back again have these additional controls here at the bottom which are attack and release which govern how quickly the compressor smooths in the compression and how much it releases it back to an uncompressed state when she stops singing. I'm happy with the way this is set up having a little bit of experimentation before the video I'll just show you how it sits in the mix now if I turn the solo buttons off this is without And this will be with. I'll just adjust it ever so slightly so there's not such a massive compression. I just want a subtle effect where the volume of the hyper lead backing track, the hyper lead counter melody, is reduced. There you go, uh, that has the effect of filling in the gaps between her vocals and the level drops when she starts to sing so that they aren't sort of sparring or fighting for the exact same audio space and they sit together far better in the mix. That's how you use sidechain compression and I'm hoping that's been useful for you. Thank you for watching my video.